Hi, here's Simon speaking of 3dalmanac.com. Welcome to our next video. Today we have a small tutorial about metadata management in DAS Studio. So, um, as you know, the smart content pane is getting more and more important, uh, especially with the new version 4.9. Uh, a lot of uh, the new functions are all working about the smart content. Um, of course, because DAS wants to sell more of their own uh, products that take full advantage of that. Um, but uh, it's possible to, to use all these things also with third-party content that you buy from other sites like, for instance, Renderosity or, you know, there are a lot of other sites where you can buy content. So, uh, today we want to uh, have a quick walkthrough how you can yourself create uh, metadata that enables you to to use the third-party products within the smart content pane. So um, today we uh, will create metadata for an expression set for for Genesis 3 female uh, that is sold on uh, Renderosity. Uh, as a prime product, so it's pretty affordable. Um, it's uh, by Tempesta 3D, uh, Desire G3F, um, a nice expression set. And um, uh, I also chose expressions because for, for expressions it's pretty simple to create the metadata. There's some, uh, if, you, if you have objects with materials, there's some special things that we probably will uh, revisit in a second tutorial, but uh, for starters, this is a very good uh, thing to to not get it too complicated. Okay, uh, let's go to the studio. Um, the first thing you need to do, we go to the content library, is to create a product out of this uh, object because uh, Dust doesn't know yet that this is a product it only knows it's a folder with a lot of files or in if it's in a worst case uh, it's multiple folders but in this case it's only one so it's a bit easier so what we are going to do is we right click on the on the folder where all the expression files are located uh, you already see this is even not in the right folder it's not under expressions it's under poses but it's all expressions uh, so one uh, reason more to to put it into or make it available in the smart content pane um, we do create a product so we have to enter a name uh, let's call it like it's called here in the end it doesn't matter how you call it uh, whatever is convenient for you but keep it simple is normally the best uh, way especially which which word is start it should be the one you're probably looking for under it okay we press ok and it created a product now we can go to products see under d desire scroll down until we see it it doesn't have it has a icon yet so we, we are going to fix this later and the first thing we are going to do is um add categories to this so for now i'm only going to add the right category in the default tree if you have your own categorizing system you can also add it there it's very convenient i would uh, i think it's a very good idea to 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 create a good uh, category tree or multiple category trees beside the default uh, tree uh, for your needs um, but but it's always good to to have it in the main tree so in the it's under poses in the in the category tree um, in in difference to the file tree that does normally use so um, and we use expressions these are all full face presets so choose that and accept and now these are all categorized uh, the next step is to edit the metadata for that so um, I choose this product and then we go here in this menu 
and go to content db editor and open this now you see there are a lot of um, fields you can fill we go through here the store id currently the only possible uh, possible store id that is available in das is das 3d and it's not from das 3d so um we leave it open we just until now we haven't found any possibility to add store ids ourselves we continue to look because it would be convenient but for now it works also our other way and because we don't have a um, store id we in the token normally for dust products there's just the sku number in it so here um, we add the site to to keep it separately and then we add the sku for, for that we are going back on the site you see here in the url we have the sku we copy paste it here and we are done so um name is already filled from the from the product name global id it creates a new one that's okay uh, you can generate as long as you want it it doesn't matter it just has to be a unique id so you don't have to do there you can add here an artist that's might be useful when you search for something and it's also always net uh, nice to 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 keep this data accurate you can add a description if you want you don't need to if you only use it for yourself but we can put in here a collection of expressions for g3f full of desire or whatever it's useful is useful for you now next we are going to add the files that are part of this product and we use here add from directory recursive so here we have everything in one um, directory uh, so it's easy if you have more directories or for instance have some textures in a texture directory you can add all this stuff um, so that's all that we do on this tab the next thing we need to do is go to the next step and um, for us at the moment the most important things are the categories and the compatibilities uh, you can add tags you can add descriptions user words user notes i don't think that we really need this um the, the first thing is we since these are all expressions you have to do this in multiple sections if these are different uh, kind of of uh, uh, objects that you have here select everything we can add here a type um, and this is uh, it's here under preset pose no preset it's it's different here I think it's it's preset pose is okay and audience we can say teens I think that's okay for that if you think this is too sexy so Des probably would think it's too sexy you can put it on uh, adults so however so um, but this really doesn't matter uh, technically so the next thing is I check here for the categories the categories we already gave it are uh, automatically here so if you don't want to add additional ones nothing to do if you want to add more you can also here add category to selected files but the most important thing to to really see the stuff in the smart content because you know in the smart content it always check if the object that you selected is compatible to 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 the stuff you you, you are shown in the smart content is to set the compatibilities so i select all of them because we set them all the same this might different for more complex products and add compatibility to selected file let me put this over here and here because i used this earlier already genesis 3 female is selected um we could add for instance if you know this is also working well on genesis 2 i don't know i haven't tried it out we could also add additional ones but keep it simple 
we we this is mainly for Genesis this is re female um based stuff and so it it added it to all of them so actually that's all you need to do here that's pretty simple um and now you see um it when we have this autofill it already creates an file name if you want to use a different one uh you can uncheck this and put it in but uh the the names are um reasonable i believe it saves it in the first content folder that you have defined that's normally the the not the uh des uh, my desk library that is used by the, uh, the install manager but the other one where you the my library folder where you have all the uh, also the personal stuff if you save a scene or a scene a subset or something normally it's also saved there by default so uh, this we're saved and if, if everything is fine we can just put on accept and everything with that we put in here is saved in this file um, it tells you where it saved it and um, now the metadata is already there but we also want to add a picture for the uh, we also want to add a picture for the product to make it nicer. So what we need to do is uh, we need to create an icon image. And uh, I also already prepared this, so I downloaded this picture. And uh, you need to create an icon that has specific proportions or even pixel sizes. So the icon should have should be 184 pixels high and uh, it's the other way around normally I think 114 pixels wide and height let's make a px out of this then it makes sense so 114 pixels wide and uh, 148 pixels high so um, I already prepared that uh, before I recorded this so um, let's have a look at that so this is a picture I downloaded and then I resized it and cropped it a bit to to uh, get these pixel sizes and now we can use it so um, let's open the folder where this stuff is located and you see it's it's saved to you this desire uh, it's a script and especially the the XML where where the all the data that we just entered is saved in an XML format and we have to name this jpeg exactly like this one it can be either a jpeg or a png format it doesn't matter one of those two as far as i know but it really needs to have this exact size otherwise it's not properly working as far as i could see until now okay now it's if if you look at it it still haven't updated it so what we need to do is we have to go to content db maintenance and then re-import metadata um I believe you have to keep user data checked because it is using you uh, or viewing this uh, self-made things without a store ID as user data. But you see here the product and then um, just on accept and it should reload. And this happens all the time. I have no clue why. The first time everything is going away. The, the icon is there, but the rest is gone away. So you just do exactly the same thing again i really don't know why but it works this way re-import metadata again only select the one we just used accept and it's back here okay and now let's quickly try out if it's really working so we want to have a figure people female Let's quickly load uh, Victoria 7, where she is. Here, Victoria 7.
there's a bad product installed so I always get a error message I have to fix this so and we have her here let's zoom in here a bit to only see her face keep it more decent so to say so that's all was that we need and we are selecting her and then when we go to the smart collection we go to poses expressions and now we see here desire g3f bought at renderosity not delivered with a metadata file and we can select it here so let's give her this sultry one or maybe something this one this is nicer looking so that's all there is to it it's as you see it's there are a few steps but it's not really complicated um one note to add from my my side actually creating these files is something that every vendor who is selling something on different sites could do so if you're a vendor and uh, are selling the studio um, compatible products make it easier for all your customers and provide such a support file it's it's really not a big thing and it makes it a lot easier but if it's not delivered as you see it's also possible to create it yourself it gets a little more a little bit more complicated if you have this compatibility base like we now um selected uh genesis 3 female as as a compatibility base if you don't have this already if you have for instance a piece of clothing and you have material files that should be compatible to this piece of clothing you first have to generate a compatibility base for this piece of clothing and um probably in some time i will create a, a second video where we look at how to do that but this is really the second step so for for simple things it's it's really all that that we've done here and i think this should be very helpful um to make third-party content more usable in 4.9 upward thank you for listening if you liked this video visit our site subscribe our youtube channel leave comments if you have some ideas how to even do this better uh, let us know we are always happy to share it with all our viewers thank you and goodbye